Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading for the 27th of August 2020 and this is a reading that is for the sign of Aquarius. So that being said, this is a general reading so please don't, um, please take whatever resonates with you and just leave the rest of it aside. If however you do have any questions and you would like to have your own private reading, you're searching for clarity, for guidance, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. Also, into the YouTube drop box, you will find all the necessary and former information in order to book a reading with me. And I do have to add as an information that I do only have four places left for this week and all the other requests will be going to the following week. On that note, if you do enjoy my channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment to click the subscribe button to show your support and to show your encouragement to the channel and to myself, and it is greatly appreciated. Um, so let's begin this reading if you're ready. What we want to know here is there's no contact. We want to know what's going on. Are they going to contact us again or not? Is it over? So let's turn these cards over and see what kind of a message I could get. I would like you to please remember that this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody and you have to, uh, you know, be able to accept whatever it is coming out as messages here. Mm, I have a dagger. I have, I'm sorry about that, I have the talisman, I have chalice, the harlequin, and I also have the seer. Now, okay, so we're going to begin with the dagger here. I could tell you your answer right away. The answer here, unfortunately, is going to be a no. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, I feel as though there's just too much going on. I'm going to explain it. Um, the dagger, there's a lot of conflict. There's a lot of, there's a lot of danger in that way. If you want, there's a lot of arguments that have been going on. And I feel as though, um, I feel as though you have actually communicated a few times since, you know, the, cut off okay and um but it always kind of turns back into arguments and accusations and a lot of pain and a lot of sadness um i feel as though here with this dagger that this is just a symbol of conflict of adversity i feel there's a loss and i in some cases, not everybody, there's actually some actual physical harm. Uh, so you really do need to be, uh, you know, on your guard with this card. This is really about your partner being somebody who's really a backstabber, betrayal. They don't have really good intentions for you and they really do have a lot of hidden motives. So they have a lot of lies. They have a lot of secrets that they're hiding from you that they're never going to reveal to you, that being said. Um, I have here the card of the talisman, which is really about, you know, you're working so, 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 so hard. You really try you're really trying to get back into this relationship you're really trying to find your way you're trying to find your emotions you're trying to find some solutions to get back into the relationship to resolve it and this is really just about bad luck it's about bad news that you keep getting things are just not going as planned things are not going as you would like them to go now the chalice over here speaks an awful lot okay the chalice here is all about, um, I feel quite frankly, between the chalice and the harlequin, uh, that there is a, um, I'm talking about deception, I'm talking about lies, I'm talking about secrets, and I, I have here, and it just keeps coming back to me that there's another person into this relationship. I don't know if you broke up because of this person or not. If you did not break up because of this person, I do have to say that your partner uh, is with somebody else at this moment. Um, and I feel as though this, this relationship is just not possible right now because um, because of this other person, this other partner who is there right now. And I feel as though the love has just died down. I feel like the, the love is just not shared any longer. Um, and this is why the relationship, you know, is just struggling. This is why they cut you off. This is, you know, really about a loss. It's about breakups. It's struggling. Um, and the Harlequin here is really all about um, a broken heart, sadness, loneliness, and it's just loneliness behind the mask. And this is, I feel like they, for uh, for quite some time before actually breaking up, they've been feeling that way, but they never really said anything. They didn't really go to that point. And I feel as though they were feeling quite empty, but they just weren't able to express it. They weren't able to say it. Um, and so this is what this is really depicting to me over here. And I do finish off over here with the 
seer and the seer is really about following your intuition but in this case it's really about you're not listening to your intuition i do believe that you actually know about it i do believe that you know that this relationship is not quite possible but you do have a lot of daydreaming you have some illusions you have some thoughts you have some emotions you're human you love you want to be with a person i understand that completely um but um yeah, you know this is just you not listening to your intuition because there are too many emotions that are all mixed in it's just an explosive of of um of emotions here going on so um sadly i, I don't feel any more contacts i don't feel like this relationship is possible for the long run neither um so i am sorry this does not resonate with uh, this is not going to resonate with everybody, so take whatever resonates with you. If you do have any questions on your relationship, you'd like some answers, romancefotero at gmail.com. Please don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for the following readings. I wish you much, much courage. Stay with people that are around you, that love you, that care for, that care about you, and uh, you'll be feeling better soon. Um, I thank you for being there, and um, I'll be seeing you soon. Thank you for your support.